Hello everyone and welcome to another video of your construct and this video is going to be a showcase video on the blueprint system if you don't know what the blueprint system is uh, make sure to check out the tutorial I made about it uh, it's going to be there's going to be a link in the description and this video what I want to show you is the power of the system so I'm just going to build a very simple building with um, you construct sorry with the 3d 3d forge assets and what I'm going to have in the simple building is just a foundation, a pillar, a wall, and a ceiling. And you're going to see that all you need to do in order to get it working is just a few clicks. Or actually, just one click. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and choose here a random, random foundation. I've made this one. Uh, choose here a pillar. Doesn't matter which one you choose, just choose here a pillar. Um, I'm going to choose a wall. Uh, just choosing here a wall. And choose here a ceiling. I'm choosing here a floor, sorry. And let's go down until I find something nice. Mm, let's find this one. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna use stairs and doors because stairs. I don't really have any stairs I can use in this uh, project. And doors because we're not gonna have uh, doorway in this example. But if you would, it's just really easy to get it working. Just put in here a door, and that's it. So no, it's just just click in here, export all. We don't want to save it into prefab, so click no. You can see all of the needed. Um, uh, models are created. That's all. All the prefabs are created. Just go ahead and put it in a directory, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So I basically just made the prefabs and put them in the prefabs folder. I also assigned the building ID, and then what we need to do is just assign them inside our building placer for testing purposes. Now, please note that some of those assets um, are taken from randomly from um, ex exterior or interior pack. So some, some of them might have. Uh, faces issues. So let's try to see if it works well. Uh, let's see. All right. So yeah. So I was right. So as you can see, the um, one face of the wall is blue. Uh, is black. Sorry. Another one is textures. It's because this is the um, exterior pack, and uh, I took I took completely random walls. Um, so in your case, it would be a lot better because you actually know what you choose. So uh, same for the ceiling. As you can see, it's one face only on the only from from up. Only from the actual top, and the bottom you can see it's it's just transparent. So yeah, um, it works. But yeah, if you actually choose your own assets, you're probably not gonna have this issue. But the main fact, the main um, the main purpose of this video is just gonna show you that you can build absolutely any building you want with any assets you want, even if it's just the cubes demo blueprint or the 3D4 Justice blu um, blueprint. You can build, uh, you can make it work with any assets, and it's just gonna work uh, straight from straight up without any necessary um, without any, any socket designing or conditions or anything like that it's going to work straight off the box so yeah if you have any more questions or requests make sure to email me and uh, yeah so before I really finish this video I want to show you the actual cool feature about you construct that, uh, about you construct blueprint system I forgot to show it in the actual um, in the actual video itself so I just made another part in here so what we have in here, as you can see, this is the foundation we used. You can see it has a completely wrong pivot, and it, it's just completely messed up. But as you've seen, the actual foundation we used, it was completely lined up com uh, with the actual, um, with the actual, uh, with the actual blueprint, and it was, it had the right pivot in here. Now the reason this happens correctly is because the actual um, blueprint system handles wrong, wrongly placed pivots um, automatically. So if you have any kind of a uh, building, don't be afraid to use it. We're gonna, the system itself is going to fix the pivot for you and it's going to be working either way. So yeah, this, this is just one of the cool features about the system that I want to show you guys and I forgot. So yeah, this time, bye bye for real.